While we were on our way to the train, Chris saw a kid struggling with this huge TV and stopped to lend a helping hand. The reason why I recorded this was I saw this kid struggling with this huge box and everybody was just walking on past ignoring him. And I was so proud of my husband for going over, picking up the box and helping him. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? There's a train. to a little town called Bad Hertzfeld. Well, as exciting as it is to be back in Bad Hertzfeld, boy, my beard looks crazy having that mask on all day long. <laughs> We're just gonna get to the hotel real quick, which is kind of down near the main square, and uh, we'll pick up from there. Well, Chris is excited about being here, but I'm excited about this broom. I mean, it has been 30 years since I left this beautiful little town that was my first time ever living outside of the States, and I was here for two years. It's my first duty station. The Christmas market is going, but I won't tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to go do it. But back to the room tour. It has everything we eat. A sink, big bathroom, a blanket just for me. <laughs> he knew I was coming. A bed. Oh, it's really comfy. Do we really have to read the room? <laughs> And special, you don't get too many really comfy chairs. And look how big that screen of TV is. Uh, we have this great little luggage rack. The owner, his name is Jörg, and he is amazing. Met us at the door, super nice guy. He gave us his number for anything we need. Told us all about the town, places to go, because you know, I've forgotten a little bit in 30 years. They just renovated this, and so turned it into more apartments. And this used to be the stairs, so they made it a luggage rack. Oh, I suppose I should show you more. Check out the balcony, even though it's cold. Wood fireplaces. Pretty little few. Yeah. Comes with a coffee maker and all this tea. I want to go lay down. Just for a second. Then we'll go out. There have been a lot of updates and changes to Bad Hersfeld, but eh, to my recollection, this drizzly weather, freezing cold, is exactly what I left 30 years ago. Some things never change. I already like this place. That statue is of an old priest named Lulus. Bad Hersfeld has the distinction of being home to the oldest continuous festival in the world. They celebrate every year Lulus Fest. And so this priest here, when the Romans were sacking all over, he built fires on the outskirts of the city and convinced the Romans that it had already been sacked. So the town didn't get sacked. And so they have Lulus Fest. Look it up on uh, Wikipedia, it's pretty incredible. It's such a beautiful little city. More charming than I remember it. And I've always had a fond memory of this place, despite getting frostbite here. I didn't really get frostbite here, I got frostbite some other place. Same country. To give them a smile that lasts another year. The castle is all lit up. I don't know if this is gonna be the biggest Christmas market we've been to yet, but man, the memories and this place is still just awesome. This is awesome. I love getting to share this with you. Oh, yes, this is wonderful. This was the first Christmas market I ever went to. And back then, all of the hand-carved wooden stuff was cheap, so I would buy it and send it to my mom and she'd love it. Now it is um, really, really, really expensive, so we'll not be doing that. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, I was surprised, $200 for just a little tiny nutcracker. I don't need no nuts crack that bad. <laughs> Merry Christmas, baby. We're gonna wait for the one with ham and cheese. I'm pretty sure anything called the witch's brew is not for me. I've noticed as we've been waiting that the Christmas market is actually inside of the castle grounds and outside that is a moat. This is a very unique one. You can't have a castle without a moat. I mean it's just not 
what I would think of the castle. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Hot out of the oven. Ham and cheese. Oh, there you go. French crunchy. T tastes like a little bit of like Swiss cheese, but I know it's named something else. The ham. Oh, it's a winner. Oh, wow. That's really good. Six euros. And that's a little thing for Lula's Fest right there. Since 852, so like 1300 years. morning for another day in Bad Hersfeld. Well, I got to tell on myself for last night, after the Christmas market walking around, we stopped off for a donor kebab, and I may have overordered just a little bit. And whoa, the garlic, we couldn't finish it all. Which is a rarity uh, when I'm around. <laughs> Today we are going what I like to call, or what I'm going to call, the private's pilgrimage. Why? Because the last time I was doing this, I was a private in the army. Army training, sir! We're starting off from downtown and we're gonna see if I can find my way back to the old post. And you might think, oh, well, you've got Google Maps. Well, ha, Google Street View is not allowed here, so it'll be at least a little interesting. There's these pedestrian tunnels that go underneath the roads. They're painted up much more nicely now than they were when I was here. Go Ducks! Look to your right. Mickey Mouse. Okay, I was trying to say I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> but you know, Mickey Mouse can do his thing. We've been noticing in Germany that cars actually stop for pedestrians. It's pretty nice. We found out it's because the fines are really high. Oh. Picking up subscribers left and right. Those <laughs> kids are like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, we're making a vlog for YouTube. So we gave them stickers. <laughs> this is the kind of graffiti that I remember in the tunnels. Right here, it used to be painted George the Animal Mudo Bites. Because George Mudo was an animal and he bit. So now you know. And this is the beginning of the famous stair climb to the post in Bad Hersfeld. Starts out all sweet and like a ramp. Then it just goes pure stairs. And up they go. So my first night in Germany, I drank way too much. Stayed out all night. I wasn't wearing any clothes. I had on like shorts and it was well below freezing. And I just went to sleep right here. So uh, thankfully, some guys came in just a little later than me and carried me up these stairs. Otherwise, uh, wouldn't be uh, back here today. <laughs> Made it up the stairs one more time. And this, well, that's a moving truck. This little place right here is called the Schnellimbus, the quick snack. Despite making almost no money, the food at our chow hall was so terrible that we would spend our own money to come here and eat pretty much every day. So we're gonna eat here now. I always used to order pommes mit alles and a hoagie. So that's what we're gonna order now. Hoagie, 31 bitte und pommes mit alles. This is totally either still the same guy or it's his son. This is awesome. I told the guy I used to eat here every day 30 years ago and he said that was his father or his sister who worked there then. But he knew that I used to be here as a soldier because I ordered the french fries with cheese. Oh, the hoagie. And pommes mit alles. French fries with curry ketchup, mayo and cheese. All right, Katie, dive into my memories. Ooh, nice and warm. Bread, his toasty, all the vegetables. This is a really good combination. Mmm. They're crinkly, which is my favorite. Crispy. Oh yeah, I can see why you ate here every day. We're gonna showcase some of the posts and what used to be there. Well, there used to be gates right there. And I can tell you my first time coming through them was a significantly different experience than what we just had. The food tasted exactly like I remembered. I don't know how good my memory is, but it tasted amazing still. It was very good. That it's the same family, that's even cooler. This place hasn't changed all that much, aside from, you know, taking down the fences and gates. Headquarters, a chow hall was over there. We Tech? Our chow hall at the time, we would have called it We Wretch, which is why we always Get spend our money days. to eat at the Chanel Imbus. That's our old symbol right there, the black horse. Some people weren't so happy about that symbol being there. I was one of the last two guys to leave this post. I was left on guard duty. People always have their opinions that change, but we were welcome here for a very long time, and it was a great experience. I mean, where our gym used to be it's gone and there's a bunch of Amazon trailers there that is got to be a metaphor somehow we go up one over that was my window right there well we weren't here very much we were usually other places doing army stuff but when I was here 
That was my window. This is really cool to see all Chris's memories and he's so giddy and excited to show them to me. I feel loved. <laughs> oh, you're loved all right. Up here at the top of the hill was where all our motor pools were, so all of our vehicles were up here. So since there were vehicles, we spent a lot of time up doing, you know, maintenance. Oh, buddy, did we walk this hill a lot? There you go, Kate. That is my return to Bad Hersfeld 11th ACR Privates Pilgrimage. <laughs> well, I love the history. There's a marker around here somewhere I want to find, so we're not quite done yet. I almost forgot. John Brower, if he ever sees this, he'd be an old man by now and probably still walking with a limp because he jumped out of that window with a sheet as a parachute because a bunch of people said, you're not airborne, Brower, so he's gonna prove them wrong. And he landed on an empty bottle of cold duck down here, severed his Achilles tendon. I, 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 it was funny at the time. I hope that you're okay, John, if you ever see this. You know I love my country, but here's a, here's a little difference between like Germany and the US. So these buildings back here that I lived in were World War II barracks for the German army. Then we used them. And then now they're still the same buildings, look like the same windows, still working perfectly well for the residents of these apartments and buildings that are here now. I also stayed at some of the US World War II barracks probably 15 years ago. And they were condemned, rattle trap, lead paint, poisoned crap holes. So Germany, definitely builds good. It builds the last. This is it. The monument to the forces that stood here for a very long time in pursuit of freedom for all. So that is all on the post. Let's go see what else we can find about Hurstfeld. I could not have imagined a better visit back to my first place that I ever lived in Europe, this charming little village about Hurstfeld. This little apartment, the Stadt Apartment HEF, couldn't recommend it enough. It, fantastic little place. The owner's great. Uh, the apartment is super comfortable, centrally located. And the town is so cute. It feels totally different than some of the other places we've been. Not a tourist town. It's just everyday people. It was fun. Welcome to Mutin. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Take the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>